Oh, I loved, I loved working on the Wayshore. First of all, um, it was a real honor that I got the word that J.R. and J. Sue had written this part, Gina, uh, with me in mind, because that doesn't happen very often that people write parts for you, you know? And so I was thrilled, and um, I came to this building and did a reading, I guess, a year ago. I mean, a year before, or whatever. And um, I think that because John Rogers is the most important person in my life, the idea of doing a movie where it tells the story of his upbringing and his parents and his brother and, you know, all of his childhood and how he got his gift was, it was just such an extraordinary experience to read it and then see it all fleshed out by the directors and, and, uh, and the directing, your directing. Um, I, I don't think I've ever been to such a ghost town before as Helper. Uh, when I walked down the street, I thought there was nobody in the whole town. It seemed like I had come into some movie of a deserted ghost town where all the stories had been left exactly the way they were from the 30s and 40s. And it was an extraordinary experience just to see it. And, uh, um, you know, knowing Delisle a little bit and Elda and, and David, um, in the family and seeing them all be part of the making of the film, it was just such a personal family experience. It was thrilling. And then we all got to live communally, you know. I lived in a house with a woman named Iona who provided breakfast and lunch when I was there and dinner. And I got to know Sarah Lane and Evan Hart who were in the movie. And we all were like in a dormitory situation. And then um, Jason would come in and, you know, give us our instructions and run out and then onto the set. And, um, it was really neat playing this waitress, you know, because uh, Jesu's character was, you know, JR is also his life and he's trying to reconstruct the, the story of JR's childhood and how he got his spiritual gifts and, and also Jesu's struggle with his own demons, if you will. and, and um, trying to go for soul transcendence and so being the waitress asking him questions what are you writing in that book um, I think I was sincerely fascinated both as an actress and as Sally Kirkland wondering about J. Sue Garcia's process with John Roger and um, it was amazing and I quizzed all the waitresses there of how to look good as a helper Utah waitress and all the townspeople would come in and be extras and um, well I think Gina had a lot of wisdom and that she did talk about the three selves the higher self and the conscious self and the lower self I mean she would tell um, tell Jesus character these things uh, throughout the movie but at the end um, I felt she was there and she was meeting the love of her life JR well, I'm in about my 45th year of acting. I, I started when I was 10, and I started making money when I was 17. And um, they, uh, I, I really um, don't know what else to do with my life. It's just what I do. Um, but when you get to be my age, um, they don't really write a lot of roles. And so it's such a godsend when you get a role, like Gina, um, and you get to sort of been around the block and act like it and talk like it and... Um, it's, it's a real thrill to still be working. Um, I hope Jason will be writing me parts when I'm 90, you know. Well, I love the bullfighter story because I got to mention Christ, and I've been in love with Christ since I can remember. And that was my favorite moment of my character in the movie when I got to touch Jason's brow and talk about when you touch the cloth. It's like getting that close to the Christ and touching the Christ and giving you courage. And um, that was profound for me. So I don't know if it was some, something based on Ava Gardner and running off with the bullfighter, but for me, the, the reference to Christ, every time I see the movie, I just, I feel one with Christ. It, it, I, I don't think I've ever gotten to say Christ in a movie before. <laughs>